Trump is fanning the flames of the email hack involving Even the Democratic Party. inciting the Russians National to help Party. find some the other... reaction continuing to pour At the Central Intelligence Trump Agency, Trump there was growing concern about the implications of the leaks. It was quite clear to me that we were seeing a campaign on the part of the Russians, that it was a much more aggressive, much more intense, uh, and much more uh, worrisome um, effort. The intelligence community's analysis had already linked the DNC intrusion to Russian hackers, the very ones used in Ukraine. But now at CIA headquarters, they said they had something more, direct evidence that Vladimir Putin himself was personally involved. To get the intelligence that corroborates that uh, it was, was the coup for the CIA. The agency has obtained intelligence that shows that Putin is behind this operation. Putin is setting its goals. Putin is not only aware of this, but aware that they're planning to weaponize this information. He rarely communicates by phone or email or anyth anything electronic. So uh, for them to get this kind of intelligence was, was pretty significant. Exactly what the CIA found is classified. But to Brennan, it was a game changer. It was something that was, I think, worrying to all of us, uh, particularly since we didn't know uh, the extent of what it is that the Russians were engaged in, and we didn't know how far they would go to really uh, threaten uh, the integrity of the election. The information was dispatched from CIA headquarters to the offices of the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper. I reacted viscerally when I understood the, the magnitude of what they were doing and that it was, in fact, orchestrated at the highest levels of the Russian government, meaning Putin himself. I've seen a lot of bad stuff in my 50-plus years in intelligence. Uh, that really shook me. With Clapper on board, Brennan delivered the details to the president in person. Obama's senior most officials have told us that he was taken aback by this, that, that the president was alarmed as well. At the White House, some wanted the president to sound the alarm to the American people. There's a big debate inside the Obama administration. What kind of action should they take? How public should they be about uh, uh, raising the alarm? Veteran Putin watchers worried that if the president didn't respond forcefully, the attacks would continue. As we are watching what's happening, those of us who've seen this movie before, whether it was in uh, Estonia or Ukraine, it seems absolutely familiar. Everybody that I knew who was read into this and who was at high levels of the State Department supported both attributing it to the Russians as early as possible and responding uh, in a robust way. Obama could have destroyed computer servers that were involved in this. He could have stepped in to reveal information about Putin himself and his financial connections to the oligarchs. He had all kinds of cyber choices, and then he had all kinds of non-cyber tools, sanctions, things like that. But Obama resisted aggressive responses. I think the feeling was, how are you going to talk about this uh, without seeming to be influencing the election and taking a side? I mean, I just think they preferred to stay out of it. Overriding all of this was President Obama's concern about not doing anything that was going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy for the Russians, which was to call into question the integrity of the election. Very clever on Putin's part as well, because President Obama conceivably could have been accused of doing the very thing that Putin himself was doing and therefore contributing to the discrediting of the election. The other thing is that the Obama administration expected Clinton to win and they were afraid that if they weighed in now, it would look like they're really putting their thumbs on the scale. This is a kind of a classic case of the Obama administration overthinking something while the Russians were just kind of punching them in the gut. Before he would act, the president wanted congressional Republicans to join him in calling out Putin and Russian interference. The Obama administration is so concerned about being accused of politicizing intelligence during the election 
They're really reluctant for the president himself to go out on a limb and say, look, Russia's doing this. Russia's messing around in our election. They really wanted this to be a bipartisan statement of condemnation of Moscow's interference. Top intelligence officials traveled to Capitol Hill to tell congressional leaders what they knew. They were all there. The Speaker, Leader Pelosi, Leader McConnell, Leader Reid, the Foreign Affairs Committees, the Intel Committees, they were all there. And <clears throat> we briefed them on what we knew. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell expressed skepticism about the intelligence and warned that he would not join an effort to publicly challenge Putin. They're told by Mitch McConnell, the majority leader of the Senate, that if you do that, we're going to interpret that as you putting the thumb on the scales for Hillary Clinton. The meetings were top secret, held behind closed doors. In those briefings of Congress, some of the individuals expressed concern that this was motivated by partisan interests on the part of the administration. And I took offense to that and told them that um, this is an intelligence uh, assessment. This is an intelligence matter. It's a moment when politics and partisan positioning appears to take precedence over national security. In other words, they're so worried about each other, the Democrats and Republicans, as adversaries, that they can't get around the idea that there is a bigger adversary. 